Good morning girls. In the previous session of Oracle, we learned how to create a new user, how to give a permission or grant permission to that uh, particular user, how to apply all the privileges and then how to revoke all the privileges from that user. Then we also learned how to check a given permission or granted permission to a specific user by executing uh, select query right then how to drop existing user by giving a drop user query and how to create uh, how to grant a create session privilege to a particular account or user right so uh, this was all about creating a new user user grant and privilege uh, grant some privileges to that user and revoke all the privileges now next is we are going to study the transaction control commands this transaction control command can save our uh, queries as well as if we want to undo the query whatever we have uh, fired on a table that we want to undo then we can roll back that command let us see in detail in this topic we will discuss the transaction in PLSQL a database transaction is an atomic unit of work that may consist of one or more related SQL statements right here jointly some SQL commands jointly are known as a transaction or we can say that that particular um, unit of work is known as transaction it is called atomic because the database modification brought about by the SQL statement that constitute a transaction can collectively be either committed and made permanent to the database or rolled back from the database. A successfully executed SQL statement and a committed transaction are not same. Both are different things. Here uh, read it again. A successfully executed SQL statements and a committed transaction both are different th things successfully executed SQL statements can be rolled back that means we can undo the executed SQL, SQL statements till we not commit we do not commit that transaction even if an SQL statement is executed successfully unless the transaction containing the statement is committed it can be rolled back and all changes made by the statement can be undone how we can uh, do these things let us start learning how to apply uh, how to save our uh, transactions permanently or how we can roll back the queries which is fired on a database starting and ending a transaction a transaction has a beginning and 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 a transaction starts when one of the following events take place number one is the first SQL statement is performed after connecting to the database here it means whenever you open your SQL window for accessing a particular database at that time the first SQL statement is performed at each new SQL statement issued after a transaction is completed second thing is whenever you uh, complete a transaction the new SQL statements issued after that transaction are also has a beginning and an end the transaction ends when one of the following events take place if you want to finish your transaction if you want to complete your transaction what you have to do is uh, the things are listed over here number one is a commit or a rollback statement is issued if you want to complete your transaction you must give a commit uh, commit command or must give a rollback right either or second thing a DDL statement such as create table statement is issued because in that case a commit is automatically performed in case of create table the commit transaction is automatically performed 
third thing is a DCL statement such as grant statement is issued as we have seen in the previous session because in that case a commit is again automatically performed no need to commit it externally you can grant uh, whenever you uh, execute the grant statement uh, it executes the comment automatically then third thing is user disconnect from the database when you close your SQL window window at that time transaction also commit itself by uh, performing internal queries user exits from SQL plus by issuing the exit command a commit is automatically performed when you give exit command from the SQL window at that time again commit is automatically performed SQL plus terminates abnormally a rollback is automatically performed see in case if your SQL window is it terminates abnormally something abnormal happen with your SQL window at that time a rollback uh, command executes automatically that time also we can say that transaction is over a DML statement fails in that case a rollback is automatically performed for undoing that DML statement data manipulation language so these are the cases when we can say that transaction ends automatically or by giving the command manually now uh, next thing that we have to learn is to commit a transaction how you can commit the transaction manually a transaction is made permanent by issuing the SQL command commit here you can see the general syntax of commit command what we have to do is just write commit uh, where your uh, prompt your uh, pointer prompts there you have to write only commit command right for example here I am inserting some values in customers table right which has four columns sorry five columns and we are inserting one two three four five six six rows in customers command after that if I write commit and press enter then this changes will be permanently stored in customers table at that time we can say that a transaction is over right all the records are stored permanently right yes you can delete that records with the help of delete command but uh, once you uh, execute a commit command these records are stored uh, in your database in permanent basis right now how you can roll back transaction changes made to the database without commit could be undone using the rollback command right I repeat changes made to the database before you have execute commit command could be undone using the rollback, com rollback command here in the previous example let me explain you created one table with name customers you inserted this records but before giving the com commit command if you are giving rollback then this everything will be rollback right everything will be rollback the effect of this insertion command will be removed by giving a rollback command will implement it practically also here you can see the general syntax of rollback command rollback then into bracket you can see the optional part that is uh, to save point that I will explain in the next uh, next topic right rollback to save point save point name when a transaction is aborted due to some unpredict uh, pretended situation like a system failure the entire transaction since the commit is automatically rolled back if you are not using save point then simply use the following statement to roll back all these changes 
roll back right if you don't want to uh, go back to a particular save point you just you can just write the roll back command in your editor window then let us learn what is save point save points are short of markers that help in splitting a long transaction into smaller units by setting some checkpoints by setting save points within a long transaction you can roll back to a checkpoint if required this is done by issuing the save point command the general syntax is shown over here save point and then you have to specify the name of save point right let us see insert into customers id name age address and salary values are this insert one more command into customer table with different values then create a save point like this save point save one then execute an update command on customer table right then write roll back to sav1 this will roll back all the commands which are fired after save point sav1 so only the update customers this query will be rolled back or we can say that this query will be undone now update customer set salary salary plus 1000 where id equals to 7 update customer set salary salary plus 1000 where id equals to 8 we updated two commands and then we are giving commit right so uh, which records will be stored permanently this two insertion right this two records will be stored in the table then this will be roll back this will be undone by giving a roll back command right and the next two update queries will be saved permanently here roll back to save one the statement roll back all the changes roll back or undo all the changes up to the point which point up to this point save one where you had mark save point save one after that the new changes that you make will start automatic transaction control before we start this thing let us see the example of all these things right for that let us open by giving Scott and Tiger okay Now in an editor window, we will create a one table with name customer but before we create a customer table, let us see whether uh, the object with the same name exists or not for that I will write self from let us check whether the customer table is exist or not right um, select star from customers and press enter the table uh, with the same name does not exist so let us create a table first create table customers into bracket ID number length is 3 the second field I want is name of type where 2 length is 15 third field I want is an age age of type number length is 3 
then port is address of type where care 2 and the length is 20 next field is salary of type number and length is 6 so this is the structure of our table right let us insert some commands in this table before we start inserting this commands uh, the rows in this table let me tell you one thing here the create table customers is automatically committed as I explain you that the DDL command or DDL statements such as create table uh, are committed automatically right here you can see that it commit uh, commit is automatically performed in case of DDL statements such as create table so here we executed the create table command which is automatically saved uh, we cannot roll back the last command right because it is a DDL command now what is next let us insert some record in this table one row is inserted second one third row we are inserting okay fourth row we are just inserting the rows nothing doing so uh, the queries are executed successfully and the six rows are inserted in the table but still these rows are inserted on a temporary basis they are not permanently stored in our on the disk for that what we have to do is we have to commit the transaction first for that we have to write commit command now we got the message commit complete this six records are stored permanently in our database we cannot roll back these queries by giving a rollback because we have already given a commit command fine now you can see the structure select star from customers these are the six rows of customers table now next let us see how the rollback transaction works the changes made to the database without commit could be undone using the rollback command we have gone through the syntax of rollback command right as well as save point command let us try to understand rollback and save point through example for that here I am inserting a new value one row I have inserted with uh, ID number 7 one more row I am going to insert with ID number 8 now I am giving a command to roll back as you know that the previous two queries are successfully completed but the result of that queries are not stored permanently in our database we can undo this command we can undo this query by giving a rollback command right before we give a rollback let us select all the records from customers table this will show you all the records now just give a rollback command and again execute the same query select star you will get only six rows as I told you that these two records are successfully executed but they are not permanently stored in our table
right so me roll back command aipu ane je last two mara commands hata e be undo thai gaya why not the first six records because we committed after insert inserting the six records right ahi ame commit api didu tu six records pachi itli they all are stored permanently but after uh, inserting the six records i inserted two more records and then i roll back so the last two queries are undone now switch back to document now create save point with name as a v1 before we create as a v1 let us insert the same records one more time apne records pare thi create kariye chhi ओके ह्यूर वी आर नॉट गिविंग कमिट और रोल बैक बट वी आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग अ सेव पॉइंट एस ए वी पॉइंट एस ए वी वन सेव पॉइंट क्रिएट करिए विथ नेम एस ए वी वन आफ्टर देट आई एम गिविंग वन अपडेट कमांड हियर यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सेव पॉइंट क्रिएटेड मैसेज राइट आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग द सेव पॉइंट let us execute one more query of update here i want to update the salary of all the customers by 1000 right now i realize that this query is fired by mistake now i want to undo this query right so what will i write i write roll back up to sav1 sav1 if i do not mention the name of save point and if i give roll back only then all the three queries effect of all the three queries update insert into and one more insert into this all queries will be undone but if i roll back up to save point 1 then only the last query will be undone right i repeat if i give a command roll back without specifying a name of any save point last three queries will be undone why only the three queries will be undone because ena pehla ni je queries che त्या आग मैं ऑलरेडी कमिट आप दीदे सो देट क्वेरीज विल बी स्टोर्ड ऑन अ परमनंट बेजिस राइट इत ही जैसे स्टोर बट आफ्टर गिविंग अ कमिट कमांड आई एक्जिक्यूटेड दिस थ्री क्वेरीज इंसर्ट इन टू विथ आई डी सेवन इंसर्ट इन टू विथ आई डी एट एंड देन अपडेट कमांड राइट सो दिस विल बी रोल बैक and if i write roll back with sav1 only the one effect of one query will be undone why is it so because i want to roll back up to the sav1 only i want to roll back up to this point only that's why i wrote roll back sav1 now press enter before i press enter let us see let us select all the records from customers table right here you can see all the eight records stored in this query now roll back up to sav1 before we roll back you compare the salary you compare the salary these are incremented by 1 as i told you that this query is fired by mistake so i want to undo the effect of this query so i'll write roll back as a v1 so we got an error invalid option to roll back work okay uh, roll back as a v1 i forgot to write 
two uh, roll back two SAV one right and press enter now one more time execute this query select star from customers see the difference in salary the effect of the last query is removed 3000 2500 3700 right so we got the salary as it was pehla je hati h mari gayi fine now uh, i think you are come to know that what is the difference between roll back to a particular point and if we not mention the name or save point then what will be the effect we can get right let us insert some more records update customer set salary equals to salary plus 1000 where id equals to 7 one row is updated i want to update one more row with update customer set salary equals to salary plus 1000 where id equals to 8 One more row is updated. If I write rollback, then the effect of this queries will be rollback, right? And if I do commit, then this uh, the effect of this queries will be stored on permanent basis. Let us rollback. Now select star from customers. We are having only six records, right? All the effect of all the queries, update customer where ID is seven, where ID is eight. These are rollback. Then insert the effect of insert. This two, ID seven and ID seven uh, eight. These are also rollback. Why is it so? Because we have not committed these records, right? So these are deleted one more time let us insert this records okay now update the record by giving update customer table one row is updated update one more row now give a commit command and now you can execute select star from customers eight rows are selected now this all the changes are permanent you cannot roll back up to any of the point because we have given the command commit fine so how to deal with commit command how to deal with roll back and save point that we learnt in this uh, current topic let us see what is automatic transaction control to execute a commit automatically whenever an insert update or delete command is executed you can set the auto commit environment variable as set auto commit on right if you want to set the auto uh, automatic transaction control whenever you uh, execute the query of insert update or delete you can set the environment variable of oracle by setting this command set auto commit on you can even turn off the auto commit mode by giving this command set auto commit off this is a toggle environment variable you can on this command or off this command by just writing set auto commit on or set auto commit off right as per your desire so this is all about transaction control commands of oracle you just do the practice of all this all these things as i show you uh, how you can create a user then how you can give a pri privileges to that user and how you can uh, re revoke the privileges given to the user as well as uh, do some exercise on transaction control commands and keep your journals up to date. Here our second chapter is over now.
will begin the third chapter very soon from the next session what we will see in that um, chapter let me show you here i have stored our uh, syllabus on the screen let me find it out yes we have covered everything of managing tables and data 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 control and transaction control commands right our second chapter is over now the weightage of this chapter is 20% uh, so uh, prepare all the questions basically here join inner join outer join self join this question is most important then they always ask to uh, give a description of numeric function or character function or date function right explain any five numeric functions explain any five character functions or explain any five date functions they also ask about um, cube and roll up cube and roll up the question is like uh, uh, explain roll up and cube with example either they individually ask or they ask together right they sometimes they ask what is roll up explain with example sometimes they ask what is cube explain with example so these are the important question these are the important question of this chapter roll up and cube as i told you that any any five functions of numeric character or date functions then order by and having these are also important from this chapter then uh, next i told you what is transaction control commands so uh, prepare all these questions from the next session we will start our new chapter that is oracle database objects we'll cover view sequence synonym database links and index with this we'll learn what is logs and the issues related to log right this chapter is small compared to all other chapters so thank you meet you soon in the next session till then bye